After a jury convicted ex-officer Derek Chauvin of the murder of George Floyd earlier this week, conversations about race have been at the forefront. That rings true for an interracial couple living in West Dallas. Those two sharing their thoughts with our Gabrielle Mays, who joins us more live. Gabrielle? Yeah, that's right. Of course, conversations about race can be very difficult at times, but the couple that we spoke with says even though it may be difficult, it's important and necessary for those conversations to be had. As John Johnson and his fiance Amy Pelican sit at their dining room table, this week's news of Derek Chauvin's guilty verdict has them talking. Both say they feel the verdict is a step in the right direction, but they think there should be more accountability for law enforcement. Every time from George Floyd to, to every single case that's happened all the way back to Mike Brown, we have in-depth, hour-long conversations about it. Go take fresh the two have been together for eight years and plan to marry next year. With two very different backgrounds, this interracial couple has learned how to navigate life together. Pelican says her first major realization about their racial differences came when they considered traveling to Italy. He made it aware, like, I have to check the climate for me there first. And, like, I never thought of that. I could go anywhere, probably. These two make it a point to attend protests and say they will never stop fighting for racial equality. I've taken off whole weeks of work just to march. Johnson and Pelicans say their conversations about race also extend to family and friends. We've always been very open with our friends and family about how we feel about everything. The two say they use their discussions on race as an opportunity to grow and welcome others to join their conversations. As long as I have a voice and as long as I have a brain, as long as I'm able to intelligently say things, I should also be able to talk to people who I have a difference of opinion. Now, those conversations about race do continue because Johnson says he has a podcast called The Grand Proclamation. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Gabrielle Mays, Fox 6 News. All right, Gabrielle, thank you so much.